everybody, welcome to today's game show. How is everyone doing? I'll be your host today. I'll take you through the 12 questions. My name is Betty Ann. I hope mko salama kabisa. I need to check up on you guys to see if you're good during this quarantine, people. So today's questions are going to be very simple, all right? It's all going to be very general knowledge on history, okay? I hope that's a strong suit. Kama siya yenyewe just karada, man, okay? I'll keep throwing clues at you. Uh, comment down below about how, what you think about the questions as well. And after the game, you can go ahead, uh, follow our social media handles on Instagram, Facebook, Pale, Kwenye Mtandao, or YouTube, Uone how below about how, what you think about the questions as well and after the game you can go ahead uh, follow our social media handles on instagram facebook pale kwenye mtandao wa youtube uone how everything is going down okay so do go ahead also and buy a life or two to be safe ndio ukianguka swali usi eliminate where so that you have a chance going forward okay sawa basi so hayo machache can we start the game question number one in 2019, Rwanda unveiled a local manufactured fo uh, mobile phone with this brand name. Is it Tuzi Mara Ama Savannah? So Rwanda did a phone basically and they called it one of these names. Which one is it? Niko Tuapo. As in here, I can't even give you a clue. I'm really sorry. If you know, you know. If you don't, guess. <laughs> it may be your lucky day, okay? Because the answer to this question is Mara you to move forward with question number two this Kenyan musician started his career in the USA is it size size 8 bamboo I'm a calligraph Jones which of these three elimination method Pierre could apply how what is size 8 backstory what is bamboo's backstory and also Kali calligraph Jones he's always talked about his story and also size 8 and bamboo Pia you guys know who he is and what he does because the answer to this question is bamboo, okay. Kali Ali Tokakule Ghetto, you know, he keeps he's so proud of it. He's uh, we're also proud of him how far he's come, so is it as well. Here, here, she's hustled her way up, super proud of her. Bamboo also got the opportunity to start off in the USA, okay. Question number three. Which of these champions of humanity was born on Christmas Day? Albert Einstein, Thomas Edison, or Isaac Newton? It's a tricky one because uh, <laughs> most of them are scientists here, but one of them was born on Christmas Day. You'd suppose their faith would be the strongest. <laughs> yeah, but we're not judging their faith. It is all about when, who was born on this particular day. Three seconds should be up. The answer to this question is Isaac Newton. If you didn't know, now you know. Okay? Question number four. Romantic quest. Hmm? Conquest, sorry. Is it the current country club, Nairobi club, or Mothaiga club? Who could you Kenya? <laughs> Lord Errol, Najani Nani. Um, I hope you do. You follow around, you move around in Kenya. There's a Lord Arrow Castle, so you should go ahead and see that as well. So, where did he meet his last conquest? It was at the Nairobi, no, Mothaiga God Club, okay? <laughs> Paula, if I misled you, but I'm sure you had already answered the question because it was at the Mothaiga Golf Club. Question number five The suburban Karen is named after. Is it Ernest Hemingway's wife, Lord Errol's wife, Ama Karen Blixen? He piani raises Sana. Trust your gut. You know it. You've heard it. You've actually heard it. Okay? He it's so simple, by the way. <laughs> I hope three seconds are up because it's definitely Karen Blixen. When I judge her Karen Blixen, it is even a place in Karen. So it was named after Karen Blixen, okay? So, question number six, which writer wrote a book about his visit to East Africa? John Lee Carey, Tom Clancy, or Ernest Hemingway? Which writer wrote a book about his visit? So, I could East Africa, Konavenye Kukosawa, our very beautiful lands and rich and fertile soils and decided to write about it. Is it John 
I'm a Tom, I'm a honest. And if you don't, do make a point to go and Google who these people are. After this, I mean, gain some new knowledge. It wouldn't hurt now, would it? Okay, the answer being honest, Hemingway. Okay, Kaukuja, babe, umejua sasa. Question number seven. The rock artist Freddie Mercury was born in Zimbabwe, Bombay, or London. I mean, Zambia. Zimbabwe, Jamini. Is it Zanzibar, Bombay, or London? Uh, we've had this question before in our feed. That's the reason I keep telling you guys go ahead, look through the questions over on YouTube. We also play a couple of quizzes on Instagram stories. If you do that, you'll actually be kind of prepared for this game shows, okay? So the answer is Zanzi, okay? Freddie Mercury, Aliza Liwa, Zanzibar. Question number eight. Who was a good acquaintance of Ernest Hemingway in Kenya? Karen Blixen, Lord Errol Amabor Blixen. Ernest Hemingway, Tumongelele Ernest Marakagasa. So I hope your mind has drifted toward who Ernest Hemingway is and what he was about. So who was his buddy between the three, among these three? Huh? It was Bor Blixen, okay? That's the correct answer. I hope you got it right. Staki mwangu kep jamini. Do buy a life to be safe because here there's no kubahatisha. It is what it is. Question number nine. Kenya has a defense pact with which country? US, Britain, ama Ethiopia. Be very careful. Do not jump into it. Don't jump into conclusions. Just be wary. Pick the correct answer. Fikiria. Hmm? US, Britain, Ethiopia, Najua. <laughs> Three seconds should be out. So I just know some of you are chosen <laughs> Britain because um, they've been our colony and we are in negotiations with them about certain things. But the answer to this question is Ethiopia, okay? So because of Somalia, we are there protecting these guys as well, which is dope. I didn't know that. I knew about it today as well with you. Bringing us to question number 10. Kenyatta was never imprisoned in Nairobi, Lodo Ama, Lokitang. Where wasn't he ever um, imprisoned? Unajua pia Kenyatta hustled for us, yeah? So he's gone in and out of prison, just like Akina Tomboya and the Kapenguria six guys. Do you remember about those people? Those are our warriors, Akina Wangari Masai. Those people fought for our freedom. We are so much better off in terms of freedom in Kenya and we are blessed for that. And it is Nairobi. He was never imprisoned in Nairobi. Odd, huh? Najam Lanika Loki Tang, but Nairobi is the correct answer. Two more to go. Then we are done with today's evening quiz. Number 11. Barack Obama Sr. was born in. Bonus question, Maze. <laughs> Aren't you happy to see this question? <laughs> is it New York? Kogelo, Ama Hawaii. Where was Barack Obama Sr.? Babaya Barack Obama, former president of the United States. Where was he born? It is Kogelo. You know it. The our little men <laughs> and women could not stop telling us, you know, Obama and the kids that were born when Obama visited Kenya <laughs> are a ton. Because you know, just we're special. Kenyans, we are very special. Bringing us to the final question for today, which is Number 12, in Greek mythology, which god was wing fit? Winged fit, okay? Is it Hades, Hermes, or Mercury? Nani alikuwa na mi wings kwa migo? That's what the question is asking, and this is particular to the Greek mythology. So the Greek mythology involves the gods. Um, it's an interesting mythology. I think you should read about it. I read about it and I loved it. It's interesting. It's just beyond. Um, the answer to this question is drum roll, please. Are you guys ready to see who the winner for today's game is? Because the answer is Hamis. Okay. Congratulations so very much to the person who got all the 12 questions correct. Uko tu sawayani. You got this. That is super amazing. Thank you guys for playing, for everyone who participated. Karibu sana, tomorrow being another day, you're welcome back. 
from me to you, from Tree Bear Team to you. And until tomorrow, do take care of yourself. Stay sharp, quarantine. Kunyo majimingi. Fruits, everything. Take care of your bodies. Workout. And until tomorrow, we'll see you. Do stay sharp. <laughs>